Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create three factors diagram. The three factors diagram you are going to learn today looks like this. Isn't this simple and elegant? Let us see how to create this beautiful diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The diagram is made out of three hexagons. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes we are going to pick up this hexagon tool. Click on it while holding the shift button draw the hexagon. Holding the shift button ensures that the shape that you draw is proportional from all directions. Now this is not the angle with which we want to use this uh, hexagon diagram. So we are going to turn it by 90 degrees. For this click on the shape, go to arrange, rotate and you can rotate it either right or to left by 90 degrees and there we have the first of the three segments is ready. The next thing is we want to have two more copies of this one. For this, while having this selected, uh, press Ctrl D twice. Ctrl D is a shortcut for duplicate. Now we are going to place one of these above uh, the hexagon and one on the side of the hexagon. Just make sure that you leave a slight amount of gap between uh, the three hexagons. This is just to ensure that it is uh, interesting visually. So we have got now these two hexagons selected and we need to make sure that they are aligned properly. So we go to Arrange, Align, Align Top. Now that ensures that both of them are aligned properly. The next thing is to move the top one to the center. You make these minor adjustments by holding the control key and pressing the arrow keys. That will help you to nudge the object one pixel at a time. And this is extremely essential if you want to make designs with precision. Now we got our three factors diagram. Now we need to have the core in the middle and that we are going to create by using the isosceles triangle here in Auto Shapes menu. So we click on it and then we draw the isosceles triangle. Now the triangle needs to connect these three points. So we are going to flip it. So arrange, rotate and flip vertically so that you can have the shape, um, you can have the flat portion on the top. Now move this and make sure that the corners are touching the meeting points of the hexagon. Now you cannot really do uh, this alignment clearly if you have the shape filled. So we are going to have this as no fill and it's a good idea to use a white outline so that you can easily see the outlines. Now I am going to move this edge so that it corresponds with one of the corners here and then I'm going to move this one as well so that it touches the other meeting point. Now this is good. Now the last step is to make sure that we color these three objects and apply some effects to it. The first thing I'm going to do is to select this one and I'm going to apply a quick style. Quick style can instantly make your diagrams look more attractive than the plain uh, single colors here. So I'm going to use the first one as blue accent one moderate effect. For this something similar is this aqua color. So I'm going to use the same family, the same effect here. And for the third one I'm going to use a green color. You can use purple, you can, you can use any color as long as it doesn't clash totally. So we use the green color. Now that we have these three um, clearly designed, 
the next thing is to add some color to this triangle I am going to use say a tan color and because I want to see through the meeting points of all I have done right click and I have gone to format shape and that opened up the pane here so I go to fill and I'm going to increase the transparency to to small extent so that I can see the meeting point that adds a visual interest to the diagram that you created now we are going to select all these by moving the cursor over so it is called as lassoing uh, technique where you select all of them by moving the cursor across the shape while keeping your left mouse button depressed now press ctrl G to group them together now we are going to apply shadow the shadow preset that I'm going to use is under outer and it is called as offset diagonal bottom left now that makes it look uh, a bit projected from the background now we are also going to increase the size to make the shadow a little more obvious now all that is left for us to do is to add text to label these three shapes uh, I'm not going to spend time writing the text here I'm just going to copy the text from the previous uh, diagram that I've created and I'm going to place this here to complete the diagram the way that I am creating multiple copies of the diagram is I'm holding the control button while I am moving the text box so that I can create copies of uh, the object that I've selected so that completes our three factors diagram if you really want to write some details about the three factors you can always have your uh, text written on the side like the one that we have done earlier and uh, these are done with just the text boxes here from the auto shapes menu which you can see from the basic shapes here so that is how we complete this three factors diagram this is one of the consulting models that is used quite often there might be different ways in which three factors are represented this is one of the ways I'm going to show you some example templates that shows some other consulting models and let us see how we have used some simple shapes like rectangle I mean triangle hexagon etc to complete our diagram the first example is this one which is about the consulting models we show on the first click the core factor and then the three associated factors to the core factor and then these factors feed into each other so we show that by these elements here so this is one example of um, what you can do with the three factors and this is another one which is about the consulting models where we have shown the three aspects here and not only the three corners here but also three sides are represented with another uh, shape in the middle another example is this one where we not only talk about the three factors in the corner but also the process which is shown by this uh, circular flow and the last example is this one where we show the triangle with a segmented pie diagram in the middle we will learn how to create the segmented pie diagram in a different tutorial as you can see here there are many ways in which you can create consulting models as long as you are able to play with auto shapes and know how to make the shapes look interesting if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to play with the various options in PowerPoint to make your diagrams look professionally attractive you can always take a look at our off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time you can pick and stick elements from different templates to create your own set of templates as well so that actually makes this 1600 number multiplied many times hope you really liked our tutorial 
on creating three factors diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.